Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse this mess of the face, which is very spotty because I have been addicted to eating chocolate recently, especially mini eggs, they are my favorite. And I thought today I would film a get ready with me, but I have recently needed a new foundation. So I went online onto Boots and the Wet n Wild range, um, which is now available in the UK, and I think it has been for a while actually, I'm just a bit late with the whole trend. So I ordered myself the foundation, a lipstick and a brow pencil and I thought that I would include that as my first impressions in this video for you guys. If you like this video, please smash a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, down below for weekly videos. I normally post every Thursday and I promise I'm not always this zoomed in or don't always look like this. I'll leave all of my products that I've used today in the description bar if you did like anything. Also, I put these earrings in. I don't normally wear earrings, but they're really cute. These were from Urban Outfitters a while ago. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on. I never know which way to spin into the video. <laughs> So I've already prepped my face with just the Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit Moisturiser. I absolutely love it. I normally don't use primer, which I probably should, but I just haven't found the right one for me. I did use the Smashbox one ages ago and loved it, but I just haven't re-bought it. I'm actually really excited to try this. I did go in store, so I kind of knew what colour I was in Boots, um, and they actually didn't have the colour that I wanted, so then I thought I could order it online. It is a little bit dark for me, but that's why I've put a turtleneck on, so hopefully when I blend it down to my neck, it doesn't really yeah interfere with my body but yeah it does look quite dark i just put it on the back of my hand but hopefully it should be fine so i've got the little parcel here this is just the wet and wild foundation photo focus so it doesn't cause flashback and this is in the color soft beige i believe i only paid four pound 90 something for this it's 5.99 I want to say and then I had student discount and they have 20% off at the minute so it's definitely worth buying um but yeah I'm gonna try this I have read lots of reviews people say it's good people say it smells like paint so I mean let's give it a smell I like the packaging it looks sleek so oh yeah it, it does smell quite strong but it's on a little spaddle spaddle spatula which is quite cute um, so I'm just gonna put, I don't really know how much you need, I don't know the coverage or anything, and it does look like it's gonna be quite dark. But we'll put that much on first and see how it goes on. And let's see how this works. So, so far the colour match isn't actually too bad. Um, it's not as high coverage as I'd normally go for, but I think in when it's starting to get a little bit warmer outside, I don't want it to be proper full coverage because um, I feel like I just sweat it off anyway. I feel like I will need a little bit more um, just because that's the coverage that I like. But the colour isn't too bad actually, it blends in really nicely and it is super matte, which I also do like. Um, but I feel like I always go for matte foundations and maybe I want to try one that's a little bit more dewy or yeah just try something different so if you've got any recommendations leave them down below in the comments I'll put a little bit more on hopefully that should be enough um, it does smell really strong I feel like I'm gonna get like paint fume poisoning after this Right, so that is the foundation. I actually do really like that. And it's done a pretty good job at covering my spots. These ones here are kind of like scabs anyway, so I like that. Especially for the money as well, that's that's really good. I'd probably kind of compare it to maybe the, what is that called? L'Oreal True Match. It's kind of that consistency because it's quite watery, it's not too thick. Um, because I have used the L'Oreal Infallible recently, the 24 hour, is it coverage matte? Something like that. And I noticed because I've got really dry skin at the minute, it kind of clings. Although my skin is dry on my nose here, it's not really clinging to it too much or like not applying on that area. It's covering quite well. So yeah, I actually think that looks really nice so far. So I am going to go ahead and put some concealer over these spots. Um, I just use the collection 
it's rubbed off but the collection last imperfection in fair one um, I mean I normally use this under my eyes because it's quite light and I know you shouldn't really put lighter color fan, um, concealer on your spots because it draws more attention to them but it's the only colour I've got, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to place that firstly in areas where my spots are. So I'm going to kind of cake this on this spot, because I don't want that one to show. It serves me right for eating chocolate, but I just can't help myself. Does anyone else just get munchies constantly? Because I feel like that's all I'm doing recently, is just snacking. I won't even eat like... A proper meal well I will eat a meal but then as soon as I finished it I'm just hungry for snacks because that is an issue for me I, yeah I probably shouldn't be admitting that <laughs> um, so yeah that's how that looks I'm gonna brighten up these under eyes and I recommend if you've got a Poundland near you obviously in the UK um, they have like these little pouches of makeup bags I might actually have one little pouches like these um, that are literally a pound and I got the collection last imperfection um, this is the lilac color correcting color but this was a pound of pound land and I also got the collection um, palette the little nude eye palette the pinky colored one in there for a pound they had Rimmel um, L'Oreal bits and bobs as well so I'd highly recommend going to look in pound land um, because I know this retails normally for about four pounds and for a pound I got two because I thought oh excuse me I thought why not this is lilac so it should balance out yellow tone floors and I don't really have that many yellow tone floors I know that you should use red for under your eye what I do is I put a little bit of this and as you can see it is really brightening so I put this under my eye and then put the other concealer there as well um, to try and make it not as bright lilac under my eyes um, so I get that and I mix that in with it as well okay and so before that creases I've just got the collection sheer loose powder um, in translucent the only thing is this color isn't actually very translucent it does add quite a lot of color to your face um, so I kind of use it sparingly just put this onto another beauty blender I've got and then just dab it under my eye. I don't really let it bake too much because I know this colour can be quite dark. Um, so I kind of just put it on the areas that I want to and then just brush it off in a second with a fluffy brush and just wipe the excess onto the rest of my face. I normally just put it in the problem areas, um, so like my nose, my chin. The areas I kind of want to highlight but stop from going oily in the day as well. And normally with this powder I get patches where it like sticks to different parts of the foundation but I think today with that new Wet n Wild foundation it's not actually doing it. I'm just going to take a little bit more powder and put it on the rest of my forehead and I like putting powder on my um, eyelids for some reason because I find like throughout the day my eyelids just oil up which is really weird so I'm pretty happy with how that base is looking actually normally for me there's like dry patches or problem areas I mean I'm really not the very best at makeup at all like I'm saying I'm a kind of beginner I just enjoy doing these kind of videos for you um, but I think I actually really like that foundation so yeah I'd highly recommend that for everyday use especially I've got fluff so, next step um, I normally do is contour my face. Um, so I just use this NARS in the colour Nino Nino Chuga. I have no idea how you say that. Nino Chia, something like that. Anyway, the colour looks like this. I have hip pan, but yeah, it's just like a brownie colour. Apparently, it is a blush, but I mean, I wouldn't necessarily use that as a blush. Um, so I just put this on, I don't want to use this one, I'll put this on my Morphe brush that's an angled one so it fits in nicely and there's a plane, <laughs> um, yeah I just put this where I'd like to contour or just bronze up a little bit, I wouldn't say it's contouring because 
I wouldn't really know where to start with contouring, but just where everybody else puts it is where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I really love that. And also the foundation underneath is sticking, well, sticking it, making that look really nice as well. This was the palette I was talking about that I got in Poundland. I think it's normally about three pounds. Um, it's just the Eyes Uncovered Matte Nude Rose. Um, it's got some really pretty shades in there actually. But instead of using this on my eyes, which I would do in a glam kind of look, um, but today I'm actually gonna take, I normally just take my brush and dip it into these two colors. Um, and then I just blend that like a blush onto the top, onto the top, on top of, the um, NARS I've just put on. It doesn't give too much colour, but I think that's what I like. I like a subtle blush. Um, also, blush recommendations. I did want to get the Milani one, which is supposed to be really good. Um, I'm saying that I want to get everything, which I do, but um, any other blush recommendations? I don't know why I'm, I'm holding this up like it's got a mirror and it's just the plastic. Um, where is my mirror? There it is. So, yeah, that blush just adds like a subtle little pinky tone, which I really like that, just for my everyday look. A, another cheap makeup find that I got was, it was a leftover, like, um, from Christmas. It was the e.l.f. highlighting sets that I'll show you, so it looks like this so it's a really subtle it's not like too full on like bam it's in your face it's kind of just like a subtle um highlighter which i really like so i just put it onto this fan brush from Superdrug. um i know people don't really use fan brushes for their highlight anymore <sighs> got hair on my face um but yeah i just put that onto my cupid's bow my nose and up the bridge of my nose a little bit and then obviously highlight you up here so yeah it's just a really pretty subtle colour quite heavy handed on it you <laughs> can go for it you get get that glue um Like you can never see it on this side as much as you can on this side maybe it's just I prefer this side of my face um, here. all over basically and then if there is a little bit too much I just take my beauty blender that had the foundation on and just pat that a little bit over the top so it kind of settles in a bit better Normally I use the Freedom Brow Pomade, which you would have seen in my normal, well, in my videos, and you've seen me use it before, but I've actually not got very much left, and I was kind of getting a bit bored of like the straight brow. I do not actually really like my natural brows when I brush them up, which I will show you in a second. So I've kind of gone for that natural look. I did pick up with my order the Wet n Wild um, Brow Pencil. Now this was like, 2.99 I maybe got it a little bit cheaper with the student discount um so it's just this retractable brow pencil and I got it in the color ash brown so the darkest one they had just because my eyebrows and hair obviously are quite dark um so on one side it's got the crayon there we go we can see that um and then the other side it's got a spoolie so kind of like the Anastasia Anastasia, however you say it, Beverly Hills um, brush, kind of like the Benefit. I just thought I would try a pencil instead, so we will try that look today. So first of all, I'm going to brush my brows up. Now my brow highs actually are quite long, and um, I normally just pluck my brows myself. I haven't actually got them like waxed or done or anything before, so they are quite long, especially at the front, and they do need plucking here. Um, but as you can see, I kind of just brush the front up because I like how that looks compared to this one. It's a bit more full. Um, so yeah, I just brush those up first. Go like that. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. And then we, I don't pull this up too much because you don't want it to snap off. So I kind of just do it so it looks like a blunt 
pencil or crayon or anything like that um, so then I will take this and then what I normally do is I normally start here and just kind of this is what I used to do with a project like this so I think this is how it's gonna work with this one so kind of just like fill in this colour actually matches really nicely it kind of looks like the brow pomade colour I had before which I think was in dark brown or medium brown um, so if you do use a pomade like that you'll know that this colour works quite well they had three other colours um, a blonde one a medium brownie colour um, which was quite orangey compared to my brow colour so this is why I went for this one and that's what I meant to say with the foundation actually they don't have a lot of shade ranges within the I don't know whether they do in America more just because it's over here that they don't I'm not quite sure there was two lighter than this and then um, I think three more which isn't a very good selection so I mean you might have to buy a few and mix the colours together I'm just gonna carry on doing this like so and you can get the spoolie and just brush um, so it blends in a little bit which it does quite nicely on these and then for the front I just draw a line underneath where I want the brow to be um, excuse me I keep burping I had porridge this morning it's making me really burpy which is weird and then I get this and um, have it horizontally like this way and then just flick upwards to kind of catch onto the hairs but also imitate the same flick as what the hair would be. So as you can see it look, just looks a bit more full compared to this one um, but still a lot more natural because I've kind of just filled in the gaps I haven't done anything like draw on a new eyebrow so this is what it looks like in comparison to this one as you can see it just looks a bit more full and that's how I personally like my eyebrows um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this on the other eye so I will speed you up Okay, so I've done that one. This one went a little bit more bushy, but they never go the same. Um, so that is this product, which I actually really like, and I'm liking this look a lot more than the pomade. Um, so I would highly recommend this. It blends nicely, and the colour is really nice, um, especially if you have darker brows. I can't vouch for the other colours, but I'm sure they're very nice. So I'd highly recommend this product, definitely for the money as well. It's much better than just like a normal pencil because um, you have got that spoolie as well. Um, so that one I would highly recommend. Do use the Bad Girl Bang Benefit Mascara. My dad got me this for Christmas and it is a really, really good product. Um, as you can see, this is the packaging, which is really cute with the little bubble on the top. And then the brush is not anything too big, just kind of looks like that if it's going to focus. Okay, so my camera just turned off for some weird reason. So I've just turned it back on and zoomed in. So it might be a little bit more zoomed in or less. I can't really tell because I can't remember what it was like. So I've just applied this mascara. Um, my lashes, I probably could curl them and get a lot more volume out of them or put a lot more coats of this on. And lastly is lip colour. So I'm very, very excited for this. So this is another Wet n Wild product. And this is the Liquid Katsu, well, Mega Last Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick. Um, this is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Rebel Rose, which I believe they have got a collection out called Rebel Rose. And I didn't realise until just before I was going to film this video that they had that collection because it looks very pretty and I would have definitely ordered some things before if I saw that. Um, but I saw this colour in Boots when I first went in as a tester but again they were sold out so I thought it must be very popular and one thing I did notice about this packaging is it looks very 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 similar to the Jeffree Star packaging which is in this tube as well I would show you my other Jeffree but I don't so I'll pop on a picture on the screen now to see the comparison between I don't know whether it is a dupe or it's trying to be but hopefully this is really nice because this color is gorgeous it's just like a purpley kind of um 
dusty rose kind of colour and I love liquid lipsticks like this. One thing to add about this range as well, it is cruelty free to animals which is something I am very 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 strongly um, led by with makeup and I believe that, I mean if we can make makeup as good as this, why can't we make every makeup cruelty free? And um, this isn't sponsored by Wet n Wild, obviously I would love that, but yeah, it's not sponsored at all. I just wanted to vouch that it is cruelty free. So if you do watch this video and you do like this, um, that is a plus, that is a bonus. Um, um, so let's see how this colour is. Okay, that is really nice. First thing, the spatula, well the spoolie kind of thing to put it on, I don't know what you call this. Um, it's really similar to the Jeffree Star one, however it is making my lips a bit more messy so a lip liner would probably be better. One thing to notice, it does dry quite quickly, it doesn't really spread very far and you, it feels like you need quite a lot of product. But the colour is really really lovely, like definitely something I would wear. Okay, so I have been quite messy with my application, but I really, really, really recommend this. Um, they have it in a few different colours, most of them are quite bold, like reds and bright pinks. Um, they have another one which is Mocha Cappuccino, name something like that, some cool name that I can't remember. Um, so I probably will order that one as well, because I feel like this matches really nice with the subtle blush and the highlight, but I think the Mocha one would be quite nice as well. So I highly recommend this. Just to finish off my makeup, I used this Vitamin E Skin Gear Hydrating Mist. Now, Imagination recommended this um, on her channel and said that it was um, a dupe for the MAC Fix Plus, which I'm down for because this literally costs like two pounds something, three pounds something. Spray quite a lot. And then we can see how it kind of melts the makeup in and if it leaves any water stains. That mist is quite fine. Um, it's a lot better than the infallible can see, um, foundation. When I used that it stuck with blotches and stuff so this foundation definitely, definitely, definitely seems to be wearing up quite well and the colour isn't actually too bad. I actually really do like that. Um, I'll wait for that to dry a little bit more. We'll link all the products in the description and I'll give you a little close up. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see what the finished makeup look looks like. I really, really, really like this. Um, highly recommend Wet n Wild and their products. And I'll link um, the description to Boots. I think you can get it on Beauty Bear as well, but if you want it a little bit cheaper, um, Boots. Um, have 20% off at the minute so I will try and link that if I can in the description bar so I have really enjoyed testing out these products I highly recommend them and I really hope you like this video if you did please smash a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get um, notified when I post a video which will be every Thursday and yeah I hope you loved this just as much as I did and if you want to recreate this look then check out in the description for these products. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!